Uh, I haven't posted videos in a very long time. It's close close to a year. I posted one video in 2018. It may be hard to believe knowing that I posted only one video in six months, but I am very interested in running a successful YouTube channel. Uh, I, I, I truly am. And um, obviously, if, if, I, if I want to do this, if I, if I really want to make a success of my channel, I'm gonna have to make some changes. I've realized this. I'm gonna have to upload more videos, but there's a few other changes that I, I am going to have to make. Uh, one of them being, I, I believe I need to be more personal on camera. I'm usually not too personal. Uh, and, and the reason is, is uh, you know, my biggest fear and making these videos is wasting your time. Uh, if you go back to some of my earlier videos, I, I literally cut my breathing out because you know when I was making those videos in my mind, I thought, why should you have to watch me breathe? Like, <laughs> you just shouldn't. So, uh, so I used to cut my breath out so that you didn't have to waste your time watching me breathe. But uh, that really didn't make good videos. I got a lot of great feedback from people telling me it was it was too quick, so I stopped doing that. But uh, point being. Truly, my biggest fear is wasting your time. I, I always just want to provide clear communication, good information uh, at a good pace and get you in and out as, as quick as I can and leave you with as much real information as I can. That's my big goal. So I, I don't say too many personal things because I don't want to be wasting your time. But, um, you know, it's probably leaving a lack of connection that would help my channel. Today, I'm going to tell you what has kept me from making updates over the past year? I went into a deep state of depression when Twin Peaks was over. At first I thought I was just like tired, <laughs> but no, no, it was a slippery slope downhill. And um, I experienced a full year of depression, close to a full year. I don't know, maybe it was like 11 months. It was really close to a full year. D depression is, a really difficult thing and you cannot will it away. It's it's not an attitude. I've just accepted that depression is part of who I am. I always have experienced it. I remember as a very young child uh, just <laughs> being depressed. But anyways, it's something I've experienced my whole life and I used to for a long time from my teenage years into my mid 20s, late 20s, I uh, truly suffered from depression. It was debilitating to me. I could get out of bed a lot of times. It would last weeks. I didn't want to talk to anybody. Like the main thing, why I call it suffering from, uh, I used to have a lot of suicidal thoughts when I was going through depression. I was constantly thinking, you know, this sucks. It's never going to get better. Just fucking end it. And that, it was really painful and horrible. I never enjoyed any of that. You know, I would want my, I would tell myself, just get over this. Like when I would have suicidal thoughts and I'd be like, oh my God, what, what am I gonna do here? And I, I would just, you know, I'd like, in my head I'd yell, I'd be like, just get over this, get over it. But depression, again, it's a funny thing. And it's not, you know, your thoughts are powerful and, and your attitude in life is powerful and your attitude can get you through a lot of down times. But that's not what depression is. It, it doesn't matter what you do. It's gonna sit there until it's ready to leave. So no matter how many times I would say, just you know, get over this. I don't, I don't want to think these thoughts. I was a little bit powerless to, to, to make them go away until the phase of depression that I was in w would go away. The worst phase of depression I probably ever went through was while I was in college. And I did not want to be in college. I was only there because I felt I had to and I was getting a lot of pressure from people in my life basically saying, this is what you have to do, you have no choice. But I did not like college at all and I did not see a use for it. I didn't feel like, oh, I'm, I'm accomplishing something that's really gonna help me in life. I never, it was just always a waste of my time. I ended up spending like a whole semester in college where I rarely left my room. I lived in an apartment with roommates and when they were out of the house, I would basically take care of my hygiene so I didn't have to see them, but I would eat barely anything. Like I'd go days just eating honey and peanut butter out of the jar. I had a small black and white TV in my room. It was, I don't know, eight, 10 weeks of me hardly ever leaving my room. You know, because I did not like the depression and just wanted to get over it, I always looked for ways to deal with it. And eventually I was able to kind of separate myself from the depression uh, to the point where I don't suffer from depression anymore. I just experience it. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not completely debilitated by it. I can get out of bed. 
Uh, I can function in relationships. I don't have suicidal thoughts anymore. That's like the biggest improvement in my life ever. But still, even though I was able to function on a daily basis and get out of bed and wasn't thinking of killing myself, making videos was way too much for me to handle. Making videos is so much work uh, from start to finish. And not only is it so much work, but the very core of what I'm doing right now is putting myself out in the world. You know, I'm making a video of myself and my hope is that as many people as possible will watch this video. And if I was tr to try to describe my experience with depression, because I honestly don't know if everybody's is the same, but my experience with depression, what, what I cannot do at all, what I'm absolutely helpless in doing when I'm depressed is projecting myself into the world. It's like I just want to stay inside myself where I know it's safe, um, where I know nobody's going to mess with me and just have everybody leave me alone. It's like you get so raw and sensitive that you just can't handle the interactions with uh, other people and what they might do or what they might expect from you or what their follow-up questions are gonna be. It's it's just too much. I don't know, I really feel that's that's at the core of depression that you, you just cannot manage to project yourself into the world. Making videos, I mean, that's, that's it. The, the core of making videos is projecting myself into the world. That has been my main challenge over the past 10 or 12 months. Uh, this is why I haven't been posting videos. I do feel that this depression is slipping away from me finally. I do have some good signs that that's true. I eat breakfast and I've been working out. These are two things I don't do when I'm depressed because I don't care. The only way we'll really know for sure is if I keep posting videos. That's, I can't say for sure right now. We just have to see what happens. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't be afraid to give it a like. If you wanna make sure that you are aware of all the videos I upload, go ahead, subscribe, ding the bell, and you will be alerted every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.